Yeah, we're settling at the Upper East uh, region because some students of the Bewa College of Education, the Pusigal District of the Upper East region, are calling on government to intervene in a decision by the college authority to withdraw them from the institution. The students numbering 13 say the college granted them admission two or three years ago, only to turn around this year and withdraw them with the reason that the exam results with which they applied for admissions into the college were not good enough. Joy News' Upper East correspondent, Albert Sori, has been speaking to the students in our reports. That one, I can't even talk. We've spent a lot. We've paid an admission fees. Ernestina Grumbiuk is a final year student of the Bewa College of Education. She has been withdrawn from the college with just one month left for her to complete her course. According to her, the college says it has been directed by the National Council for Education to sack her because the senior high school exam results she used in application for admission three years ago were not good enough. I used my genuine resource and applied and then I was given admission. Then based on the confirmation of our resource, we were called by the principal and then he told us that we were not qualified. We were, we were given admission to uh, the, uh, the distance, the, the resource I used and I applied. Then he asked me, I said, no, my math was uh, E. Then he said, okay, whatever, we'll hear from them. Then, the day after vacation, we were called that we have been withdrawn. Twelve other students have also been withdrawn from the college for similar reasons. They include five first-year students, six second-year students, and another final-year student. They said you were not supposed to apply with an E for the year badge of the level 200 and the level 300 and with the level 100s they were not supposed to apply with a d7 so some of us because we entered or well, we had admission into the college with those grades we were redrawn we actually applied with the hopes of getting admitted into the college as any other person who wished to pursue higher will do so we tried our luck and by God's grace we were admitted, even with the grades that they said were not qualified. In the 2017, the results wasn't out, so I applied on a waiting. And I know that basically the college uh, it allows a waiting. So I know that before they will give me admission, so they will assess my results before giving me admission. So I don't know on what basis did they give me admission, later on they are now withdrawing me. I applied and they admitted me based on what I have applied and they gave me the admission. Me in yeah, saying that the same results they used to admit you is not, not yes, it's not, not qualified. I'm not qualified. So I'm really confused. I don't know on what basis have they I mean admitted me and finally they are saying that I've not qualified. What do you mean? Parents of some of the students have joined in an appeal to government and other education stakeholders to intervene in this matter. They feel that they are being punished for a situation that is entirely not their fault. In their estimation, they only pushed their luck by applying for admission with whatever exam results they had. They say if the results were not good enough, the college should not have admitted them in the first place and therefore it is not fair for them to be withdrawn from the college now that they have already spent years and lots of resources studying in the institution. So we have four, uh, two semesters in a year. So imagine, we are having five, that's five semesters with pay school fees. And then now we are asked to go back to the house. What are we going back to do? It's very painful that you go and spend money in school. And at the end, they will withdraw you. I mean, at the time that I had my admission, I find it difficult to even get money to go and pay. I find it difficult, very difficult. So my brother was able to go and borrow money from someone to help me, just to adjust for me to go. Pay the admission fee. Later on, even what to use to buy uh, the uniforms. We, we suffered before getting that money. So we are now pleading to Minister of Education, the President of Ghana, and then other stakeholders that they should 
they should, they should come to our aid. It when Joy News contacted the Gbewa College of Education, the principal would not speak on the matter except to say that the students were not qualified to be in the school, declining to make any further comment. For Joy News, Albert Sorry, reporting from Bolgatanga. Well, joining us on the phone on this matter is President of Teacher Trainees Association of Ghana, Jonathan Apam. Good afternoon to you, sir. We're grateful for your time on the polls. Good afternoon to you and your listeners. So how does it come across to you that the college only realized after three years that the uh, results that these uh, students used to apply for admission was not good enough? Well, um, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity and then share the, the pain that my colleagues are going through in the colleges of education that happen to withdraw such students. And let me also say that it is not only the World College of Education that some students have been withdrawn due to the requirements that they didn't meet. We have um, a college like Transition, we have a college like Alpha College of Education, Akachi College of Education, and other colleges that have withdrawn some students due to the requirements. This initiative came when the allowance was about to start. The Ministry of Education directed the National Council for Tertiary Education to ask the Institute of Education, UCC, to confirm all results of all students in the colleges of education so that anyone who does not meet the requirement will not be part of the allowance and will also have to be sacked from the college since you didn't meet the requirement. So that was a directive that was given by the Ministry of Education to NCT and to Institute of Education, finally to the principal. So the principal received such copies of letters from NCT I mean, UCC asking them that they should confirm all results. And after the confirmation, the result was that some of those students had not met the requirement, though they were given admission. And our case was that if these people actually didn't meet the requirement, I think that if we were using a manual system where principal or um, those in charge of admission will have to go through the, the results presented manually to be able to admit you, then we could say that those people pass in through windows or they didn't go into the college legitimately. But we used an online system where all these students applied online and presented their results, presented their certificate and everything online. And so we're expecting that at least the system could have fetched those people out if their results weren't good, especially those of them who applied with awaiting results. And so our argument was that if the principals admitted them based on the results they presented, and now they do not meet the requirement, since they started the race already, we're pleading with uh, UCC um, and TT and the Ministry of Education to allow these people complete their course as they redeem themselves, so that later on that mistake wouldn't be committed again. We've had instances where students, 72 students from St. Vincent College were sacked, and when we went through, we realized the principal was at fault. But with this one, we wouldn't be able to clearly judge um, because the student came with um, they didn't meet the requirement. The principal also accepted them. So in this case, the two of them faulted. So we're pleading with the ministry that at least these people could be brought back to finish their course so that they redeem themselves. Um, yesterday, we were at a meet. I mean, on on Wednesday, Monday, we were at a meeting with the minister, the executive director for. NCT was there. We met them and discussed the issues with them because we had written to them. And uh, what they were saying, they were saying that reports that came to them from the schools indicate that some students entered the school with fake results, according to them. And so they, they, will, they will not in any instance accept those people. However, they have asked the principal to refund the money to those people who have been affected. But I told them that the principals haven't done that yet. So we continue to plead, and we wrote further to NCT to reconsider their decision of starting those students from the college and let them redeem themselves. So we are still on it. And as I talked to you, I just left the college, uh, the Bureau College of Education. I met the vice principal, and he also told me that the information they sent to the ministry was that 
those students had entered, some of them had entered with fake results. Some of them even had to go to cafe and Now, talking of people. fake results, talking of fake results, whose doorsteps should we lay the blame? The college mm -hmm. or the GES, who was supposed to do due diligence before these students were admitted? I think that is the college that had to do due diligence because the college does the admission on behalf of Institute of Education and the National Teaching, the National Council for Tertiary Education. So if the student entered with fake results, you know, um, though the student is at fault first of all by entering with a fake results, but I think that due diligence should have been done by the college so that those students sh shouldn't have been admitted in the first uh, instance. But since the people were admitted, went through first year, second year, and third year. I mean, we have instances like uh, UDS where 18 students were stuck even at their final year. I think some um, in the University of Ghana, they were almost completing. We have instances that people have even completed their course, but their, their certificate can be withheld by the university or the institution in which they completed due to uh, fake results and others. But with this case, you admitted them online, and we're certain that at least even if you confirm their results, immediately you admitted them, their results confirmed because you passed it through online. And we were thinking that the online system was very hard for someone to enter with fake results. So if upon the online system, people are still having their chance to enter into the college with um, fake results, then I think that, or oh, I doubt whether it is truly online or not. So because you have a genuine concern that they should at least allow these students to complete. Um, how has the response been, like positive or negative? The response has been negative. According to the Ministry and National Executive Council, they are saying that since the students do not meet the requirements, they cannot accept them on the system. They, they have to virtually leave the college go and maybe write the BDS and come back later for admission if they qualify for the reform that is coming. Mm. But they've asked the principal to refund their money to them. So we, we, we didn't limit it there. When we finished, uh, we were trying to find out the authenticity of what they said that the student entered with a um, fake result. If it is true that those students entered with fake results, we have to verify, we have to know, and we have to find out. Maybe the students may not be telling us the truth. Maybe the college may not be telling us the truth. We wouldn't know. We have to find out and know who is actually telling the truth, whether or not the student entered with fake results, before we can continue fighting on whether they should come back or the money should be refunded. And how long, how long is this going to take, considering that the lives of people are in your hands? Well, it is, it is really disturbing because, you see, um, we have a system where when you are fighting for people in this nature, the, 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 the bureaucratic way of how you have to follow processes and a letter you write to, let's say, National Council for Social Education will take about two weeks, three weeks without response. When I wrote to UCC, I mean, yeah, Institute of Education, I had to go there by itself because the letter was not responded to. We had to write back to the, um, um, the National Council for Social Education. The letter was not responded. We had to meet them one-on-one -on -one before. So it, it's really bothering and a worry. The students themselves know that I have tried a lot for them in this case. I have tried all. All right, Jonathan Apam is president of Teacher Trainees Association and he's been explaining to us um, how they're dealing with the issue of students who've been sacked three years after they applied with the reason that their results are not good enough.